Hey guys, Aaron Cybertron Zhang here, and today I'm back with another episode of Road to Ranked, where I climb the online series 12 ladder and provide live commentary as I go. In the previous episode, I featured a really interesting team with Life Orb, Physical, Kingdra, Shedinja, Kyogre, Zacian, and more, so we'll be playing a couple more matches with it today. Details for this team are in the description below. It feels good to be back, by the way. I, the last couple of episodes that I uploaded of Road to Ranked, I actually had pre-recorded before I left for Salt Lake City Regionals, which was this past weekend, and I'm really excited to make some content around then. I actually just got back to my place uh, earlier tonight, and that's because I was you know, busy traveling for Salt Lake and then traveling for work as well. So I'm really excited to feature my Salt Lake team, make a team report around that, and then do some other content around that tournament as well. And for those that maybe didn't follow you know, that tournament, I actually competed for the first time in quite a while and got top eight at the first U.S. regionals of the year using Choice Scarf, Groudon, and Sogaleo. So, uh, yeah, really excited to show off that team to you all, and I think it was a nice meta call. I was really, really proud of the team, uh, and I ended up losing to the eventual winner, Chong Jen Peng, who honestly had an amazing run and was just, yeah, uh, uh, like one step above the competition, both in terms of team building and playing for that event. So, excited to dive into Salt Lake and, uh, you know, do some content around it in the upcoming week or so, but appreciate you all for being patient as always, for watching all of the content, and yeah, looking forward to to just playing with physical kingdra a little bit more in today's episode so uh, thanks so much as always for watching if you enjoy please share support by leaving a like i'd really appreciate it question of the day i want to know if you tuned into regionals and if so what you thought about it i actually thought this was one of the most exciting tournaments we've had in a long time in terms of stream games and all the teams that we got to see especially the top eight games so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and let's get started all right We've got actually Weezing and Gigas for this one. Very cool. With Calyrex, Indy, Kyogre, and Whimsicott. Ooh, Weezing and Gigas is really interesting here. What do I want to do against that? Because abilities are so valuable for this team, like having it all shut down is bad news for me. Mmm. Kyogre can always just water spell. Maybe it's just Kyogre and Zacian as the lead, honestly. In the back. I actually think I value Shedinja here. Because of Focus Sash and then Shadow Sneak into Calyrex. And I'm down for Physical Kingdra here. I think Psychic Seed Indity is actually okay here. But Weezing is actually really interesting. I think with all of the... Sun stuff going around at the moment. Uh, Weezing's actually kind of underrated. But it's also probably one of the hardest Pokemon to use in the format. So it's not like you can just slap it onto any team and expect to do well with it immediately. It's going to be Whimsicott and Kyogre. Okay. Um, Not much stopping them from just clicking Tailwind into, say, Water Spout turn one, which is pretty scary. But I can just uh, switch out the Zacian out into Shedinja, which is good. I don't want to say ignore Whimsicott here. Like, turn one, I'm down to just Thunder into Kyogre, and then just switch out into Shedinja. I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't go with Weezing Gigas as a lead, but I think it actually works out decently well for them, because if they went Weezing Gigas, I could just pressure with Water Spot into Behemoth Blade turn one. Now, that doesn't necessarily pick up a KO, but it still puts me in a pretty good spot, right? So there's Tailwind, that's fine. Okay, Water Spot, yep. Shouldn't just so nice because it operates also as like a switch in into so many powerful attacks in this format. Another spell did a lot. But it's all good. I'm also curious, by the way, what the item is here on the Whimsicott. Given that you can only run one Focus Sash on my opponent's team here. I'm a little bit of, like nervous about switcheroo stuff. I don't even mind leaving their Kyogre around right now. Hmm. Nah, I think it's still fine to Thunder into it. Okay, Thunder into it. I'm actually down to just Poltergeist Kyogre here as well. That's one way to counter Shedinja. I should have thought about that. And I do have Focus Sash here, so it's fine. Mm, but that's neat. Very cool. 
Uh, Sash might actually be a huge game changer for me, but I mean, you always run Sash on, I guess, not always, but it's just by far the best item on Shedinja. Warrior Seed's really cool though, right? It obviously synergizes well with Regigigas. Yeah, okay, so you're a focus Sash, meaning Calyrex is not Sashed, okay. Uh, you can't just bring out our good old pal Regigigas right now. <laughs> and then worry see the Gigas. But they're actually bringing out Calyrex, okay. Makes sense, because you just feel like you can Astral Barrage right now. But we actually have a very interesting play, which is Dynamaxing Kyogre just to survive. Uh, never mind, we're not surviving, I don't think. Actually, at 92 HP, eh, you can just Moonblast that slot in Astral Barrage. Two turns of Tailwind. The thing is, I have Shadow Sneak here. So, like, I'm not opposed to switching out into Zashi in here and just going for a sneak onto Calyrex. Um, I wish Poltergeist did just a little bit more last turn. Because I think Calyrex here can survive sneak. Yeah, they don't go for a Dynamax, though. Ah, oh, so close. The problem is now Calyrex probably just snowballs this out of control as well. Uh, I can bring in Kingdra. They can just worry seed my Kingdra, which is a problem. And Dazzle, yeah. Now we can go on into Kingdra. I should be able to take a plus one Astro and a Dazzling here. So actually what I can do is just protect Zacian, Dynamax the Kingdra, and Max Airstream. Airstream into Wim. That works. Worry Seed was really cool here though. Very hyper offensive team for my opponent. Um, how do I beat Whimsicott Kyogre lead? I guess I could have led Shedinja, but it's really hard to outpace my opponent in this matchup because they have Tailwind. So I basically have to accept that they're going to get Tailwind up. I have no way of stopping it. Once Tailwind goes up, where do we really go from there, right? So we'll see if Kingdra can take a plus one Astro Barrage plus Dazzling Gleam. That's the hope here. And if we survive, we actually should just win the game, I think. I'm also curious who my opponent Dynamax is at this point. Because you have Weezy and Gigas in the back. Potentially. Ha ha ha. Okay, they are caught in Spore, which is another cool tech that's popped up recently, but I actually don't think that's really that bad for me because, like, you're already outpacing me this turn anyway. So it's like, yes, you've dropped my speed, but you don't KO Kingdra. Dazzling Gleam wouldn't have KO'd either. But th their play here might have actually been to Dynamax Calyrex, by the way. But the thing is, now your Tailwind is over. I've gotten a speed boost on the Kingdra. And more importantly, I've gotten a speed boost on Zacian. So Zacian could just outspeed the Calyrex now. Okay. Tailwind Peter's out. So it's like, you know, the rain negates the Cotton Spore, or I should say the Swift Wind negates it. And they have Gigas as their last one. Uh, that's really awkward for them, I think. I just want to double check Kingdra and whether or not outspeeds max speed Zacian. 225, yep, we should. This is the problem with having Gigas in the back, right? Like, if you look at my opponent's team, they don't have too many great Dynamax options, and so that's why Calyrex actually could have won the game potentially by maxing last turn. But now we actually should just win, because I can just Behemoth Blade into the Reggie Gigas and then just max Warm Wind into Calyrex. And, like, Reggie Gigas without... Where Wit's Low Start activated is just so, so bad, unfortunately. Now, in this position, we actually still pick up some knockouts, but the thing is, if you're maxing Gigas here, it means I can just KO the Calyrex even through a Protect, right? They're actually maxing Calyrex, okay. I think that's the right decision. You max it, but then the thing is, Kyogre just wins me this game at this point. The one thing I'd have to watch out for with Kyogre is um, being locked into spread-type attacks. So I really like the max guard in this end here because it at least allows you to survive with Calyrex. If you don't max there, even with Protect, I just KO you through Protect. So I absolutely think that's the right play for my opponent to make here. And if Gigas has Icy Wind here, things get interesting. So let's see. 
Okay, it's not icy wind. Yeah, then you can't win the game. Because now I just bring in um, Kyogre and I just can go for Ice Beam or Thunder into Calyrex. This is one in which I think they just need to Dynamax with Calyrex one turn earlier and go all in on the Kingdra, right? And I actually think Weezing Gigas would have been an appropriate lead for them. I also think when they brought Calyrex out, Gigas could have come out immediately. Because you can do some stuff with Worry Seed there, but I can see why they wanted to bring out Calyrex and just start spamming Astro Barrage from that position. Certainly makes some sense. So, just one thing we want to worry about here is Wide Guard. So, yeah, Thunder should KO Calyrex here. We should outspeed. And then I can just go for Airstream onto Gigas. And there's really no counterplay to this. Yeah, there's Wide Guard. Makes sense, though. I, I definitely... Like, there is a win con here in which I mess up. I don't account for the Wide Guard. I end up going for, like, a Water Spout slash Origin Pulse. Actually, there's no reason to Water Spout. I click Origin Pulse. And then Kingdra targets the Giga slot. Can you win there? Because I still just outspeed you anyway, right? So it's still pretty difficult. But this is the slight downside of Reggie Gigas, right? Uh, it's a lot less weaker when not Dynamax. Although they actually got a lot of value out of non-max Reggie Gigas here. But this was a game in which my opponent just didn't have too many max options, unfortunately. And I, I wonder if plus one max Phantasm or Psychic in a Kingdra would have picked up the knockout. I'm actually not confident on it picking up the KO. And, like, the Cotton Sport there actually ended up working against my opponent. I think if they went Dazzling Gleam, Dynamax, Calyrex, and doubled up on a Kingdra, or really cool play you can make in that position is Max Whimsicott solely to go for Max Starfall for maximum damage output in a Kingdra. Because I actually think Starfall into Astro Barrage would have carried my Kingdra there. So, you know, sometimes you have to look for opportunities with, like, weird Dynamaxes. I think it actually would have paid off very heavily in this one. But, um, yeah, they didn't go for it, so we end up winning. But let's keep things going. Alright, we've got Whimsicott Reggie Drago here. I've seen Drago pop up recently, and normally it's Choice Specs. Could be Dragon Fang as well. Uh, they have very little anti Shedinja, actually, which is very good for us in that regard. Mm. It's pretty easy for them to just go with Tailwind. I almost want to lead with Shedinja here, honestly, because they really don't have great answers to it. So, like, they could just go Whimsicott Kyogre, right? <laughs> I'm trying to go, like, Kingdra as a lead, actually. Is that a bad idea? Because I could Airstream. Okay, you know what? Kind of down to try out Kingdra Shedinja. Kyogre's Ashid in the back. Because they actually... Uh, what's Kingdra worried about here? Uh, okay, I, I guess one thing I didn't consider is them actually going with Whimsicott plus Reggie Drago. Oh, although, like, because we have Zacian in the back, if they go with that, then turn one, I just pivot Kingdra out into Zacian, and then let's shoot in just soak up an attack. And by soak up an attack, I mean take no damage. So, I actually think this game, like, there's the potential for Shedinja to just be the MVP. Because I really don't think my opponent has too many answers into it. So, let us see. Uh, it's Reggie and Wim. Okay. Uh, now, Wim could have Taunt. We just saw Worry Seed, so that's one thing to watch out for. I think Drago should have a way to hit Shedinja for super effective damage, but... I'm just going to Poltergeist Reggie Drago here and then pivot this out into Zacian. This is, like, normally could be a scary lead, but I think because we've got the Zacian switch in, it's not that bad. Although I suppose, like, a fake tears into a drag... Actually, no, never mind. I'm still... I'm immune to dragon with both. So the, the question I have here is, what are the non-dragon type attacks that Reggie Drago is carrying, if any? Should have at least one non-dragon type attack, but... This is why Shedinja, by the way, can be so good, right? My opponent can't do anything with either of their restricteds against it. Huh. And this is interesting. So they've dropped one of their restricteds, right? It's Wim Insin plus the Drago right now. But I think this is actually really smart on their end. Because if they brought Zacian and Kyogre in the back, they legitimately would have no Shedinja matchup. So you basically need Incineroar here. But I'm okay with this because now I get Zacian in safely. I get to confirm the item on the Incineroar. And then this next turn, I can pivot the Shedinja out. I mean, I do have Endure as well, Poltergeist. Okay, your Shuka Shuka Berry. That's good to know. 
cool. So now we can go Shedinja out into Kyogre and go for Sacred Sword into Incineroar. Reggie Drago has a much tougher time in this matchup because I have the combination of Zacian and Shedinja, meaning that you essentially have to eliminate at least one before you can really get good value out of Dragon Energy. The idea into switching to Kyogre here, by the way, is just to make sure Flare Blitz can't get a KO onto us, even if you're like admin max attack. There is a world in which they Dynamax the Incineroar here, by the way. But I don't think that's that scary. Could just fake out here. You're going for it. I said it wasn't that scary, so now I actually have to uh, <laughs> demonstrate that. Cool play. It makes so much sense though, right? Like, you're not going to max Drago, really. And you're going to have one of Kyogre and Zacian in the back. And Zacian, you obviously can't even max. And Kyogre, not exactly a great max option. Okay. So we're trying to go all in here with Helping Hand. But I think because we switched in Kyogre, we should be okay. And we're actually still faster than Instant, which is also really good. Yeah, and there's Flare. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, cool. Uh, the fact that we are faster than Incineroar is really, really bad news for my opponent here, I think. Origin Pulse isn't even going to KO. I'm honestly down... Ooh, maxing Kyogre in this game is actually pretty interesting, just because we can KO Whimsicott. I'm actually down to max here. Because I KO you... Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. But if I... Hold on. If I do that, then Shedinja just faints, right? to hail. So I'm not sure that's actually worth the trade-off. Wait, also, if I KO Incineroar, how in the world do you ever beat Shedinja? You don't, right? Okay, yeah, they max card. But I don't feel the need to read into that max card this turn. Especially if you're not targeting the... Um... Oh, that did a lot, though. Wow. That's a crit. That's why. Okay, I was like, there's no way you should do that much damage. I could have doubled on win here on whim here, but if I double up onto it, it gives my opponent a free switch in. What's really awkward for my opponent right now is that I outspeed with this Ashian against their Incineroar. So I actually think this next turn they are forced to switch Incineroar out. Cause you need to conserve it. You need to conserve it. So I'm actually gonna switch out into Shedinja here, and I'm actually gonna go for the KO onto the Whimsicott right now. Okay, bye bye Kyogre. Okay, they stay in, interesting. Works for me though. I do think that was really risky though, because if I just Sacred Sword your instant slot, how in the world do you beat Shedinja? I just don't see a win con for you. There's Flare, which is Ashin. This is a great trade, right? At the end of the day, my opponent's already committed all three turns of their Dynamax. I've gotten rid of Whimsicott, I've gotten rid of Tailwind, I still have a Dynamax to play towards, and I get a free switch into Kyogre now. Which allows me to change the weather, Origin Pulse is super safe here, the only scary thing is that it can miss. But Drago does not really scare me, I still have my Focus Sash intact by the way as well, and Drago comes back in, okay. Uh, their last one's obviously going to be either Zacian or the Kyogre, neither of which are too scary. I still have a Dynamax with Kingdra in the back, and now I have Weather Control. Honestly, in this position, I'm actually I'm still more inclined to click Water Spout. Because I know you're not AV, and I don't want to miss here. Okay, they're going to switch out and then Dragon Energy here, right? And what's It's going to be Exhaustion or Kyogre in the back. Poltergeist. You know what? Actually, I, I think here it's fine to just Poltergeist this and Ice Beam into it as well. Yep, there's the switch. It's a little bit risky, I guess, because Instant could have stayed in here, but I thought the odds of that were relatively unlikely. And if... So here, here's the goal, right? If I KO Reggie Drago this turn, I should just win the game because then Kingdra comes out, Dynamaxes, and Geyser just ensures me the knockout. That does so much damage. I don't even know if Energy KOs Kyogre here, but we'll see. Have I Shadow Sneaked? <laughs> I definitely would not have, I think. 
I just picked up a KO onto it. Oh, that did nothing. Okay, sweet. Yep, and you are actually Scarf Drago here. We just made Reggie Drago be absolutely useless in this matchup, thanks to Zashin and Shedinja, so the combo of that was really, really good for us in this matchup, in my opinion. Uh, and that actually effectively should win us the game. Well, I guess it's not 100% over yet, but I haven't even Dynamax yet. Um, I could Dynamax Kingdra here. It's a little bit risky, though. And because I have Focus Ash here, still intact. Yeah, I think it's honestly fine to just Poltergeist into Kyogre. Basically sacrifice my um, Kyogre right now. Because I don't want to Dynamax Kyogre just for me to, like, lose a speed tie and then have them Thunder into me. We actually get a Freeze, which is pretty lucky, but I honestly don't think it makes a difference here. Because it's like, you would break my Focus Ash, Kingdra comes out, Kingdra knocks out the Kyogre, and then we just win the game, right? But with that Freeze, it makes things even easier. Although, you probably Flare Blitz here anyway, right? I guess you could go for Darkest Larry instead. Because uh, you don't want to take Recoil. It Specs on Kyogre. Okay. But yeah, Kyogre's never going to have a way to hit the Shedinja here. So, yeah, that Freeze was lucky, but... I guess the only thing it prevents them like it, it does prevent them from flare blitz burning into the shininja but then i would still win because i've already confirmed your kyogre item there and then kingdra just dynamaxes i know your scarf locks so you can't really do anything but <laughs> this allows us to go for a cheeky play and actually max the shininja which if my opponent does not forfeit here we get to see but i think they know the game's probably over here yeah oh i really wanted to get dynamax shininja off but this was not the game for it <laughs> um yeah, like, even if they Flare Blitz burn me there, Kingdra can just Dynamax, and with Kyogre Specs locked into Water Spawn, have already taken 40% of damage, they're never going to win there. So, um, Shininja lead worked out really well for me, and yeah, like, the key thing we needed to make sure in this game is to not get uh, KO'd by that Ensign the first turn that they went for the Dynamax, and so even though, wait, they, though they had Helping Hand and Flare, uh, the Kyogre switch and mitigated the damage, and as soon as you commit to the Max Ensign like that, there's not much you can do, but... You can see that with their team, like, Kyogre Scarfed, or sorry, Kyogre Specs, Drago Scarfed, so, like, you actually have very few good max options outside of that Incineroar, interestingly enough. I uh, could actually have brought Rillaboom into this matchup as well, especially Gigantamax Rillaboom, but, um, yeah, they did not, so it ended up working out well for us, but let's look for one more. All right, Seismitoad for this one. Seismitoad, Seismitoad, Seismitoad. I'm actually... I think Entity Landers is interesting. We've got Kingdra. Kingdra Ogre works. Shedinja does have to worry about Airstream from Seismitoad. <clears throat> Grim is what actually makes me nervous here, but I think in this one I actually am just going to go Kingdra, Kyogre, Shedinja, Zacian. You could make a good argument for Landers T here. I just get nervous because, like, it gets wrecked by Scarf Kyogre on the opposing end. Swords Dance is not even, like, a guarantee. It does not necessarily result in a positive trade because Zashin can just Behemoth Blade me. If they're not intimidated, then it just KOs us either non-Dynamax or Dynamax. So I'd rather just go the Kingdra route here. Mainly curious about the EV investment on the Seismitoad and how, like, how fast it is, as well as the move spread. Also, you could run physical or special Seismitoad, so that's always the other interesting debate. Kyogre and Grim. Okay, that's pretty scary, to be honest. Because uh, I think if you're my opponent here, basically, your goal is to slow down my Kingdra. So I actually think I'm turn one, I'm going to just switch Kingdra out into Shedinja. Oh, we get Drizzle off first. I should Origin Pulse here. I think Water Spot's just a little bit risky in case my opponent actually targets the... Kyogre slot, but basically here, like, Shedinja's a pretty good switch in defensively. I really like using Shedinja defensively, by the way, while using this team. Like, it's so nice as a free switch in. Because it's like, if your opponent doesn't lead super effective damage into it, you can just always soak up damage immediately with it, and I think that's awesome. This Dynamax is concerning, though. They're maxing Kingdra or Kyogre, and it could mean Fake Tears max Lightning into my Kyogre slot. Anything else, though, it's not that scary, to be honest. Oh my gosh. 
if they hailstormed the Kyogre slot, that'd be such a sick play. Okay, it is T-Wave into Shedinja though, which is what I was hoping to see. Good. Okay, we don't miss Origin Pulse. That's fantastic. And they Lightning. Okay. All things considered, not a major surprise there. <sighs> now you could Hailstorm into the Kyogre slot though, and that's a problem for me. You can... I would Hailstorm into Kyogre here. So I could ally switch, but then I could get Parrot on the ally switch, which is scary. You could just T-Wave Hailstorm Kyogre. Uh, T-Wave is such a nuisance here. I do think Ally Switch is the best play here. Just worried about getting full parried. Yeah. Now it's just T-Wave Hailstorm into Kyogre, I think. Yeah, and they hit T-Wave. Uh, maybe that was too risky then, but the odds are pretty good for me there. Oh, but they read into the Ally Switch. <laughs> wow. Have you ever seen that? Like, that's that's wild. That is, I've I've never been bailed out by a paralysis like that. <laughs> that's incredible. Uh, I've truly never seen anything like that before. Wow. Okay. Um. I'd hailstorm into Kyogre now. I'm actually down to double switch now because. It means I can get weather control with Kyogre. Because, like, in my, in my opponent's head, it's like, okay, well, if I set up the hill, Shedinja is just easily handled. <laughs> that's that's wild. If they had, if I had actually gotten the ally switch off there, they would have picked up a double knockout, and uh, I think it's still winnable from that angle from my end, but it's a lot harder. And now we're I'm actually in a very good spot. Shedinja is just one of those Pokemon that had so... So oh, much variance on both ends, and it's tough to play around. It's a nightmare to play against, honestly. Okay, they fake out perfect. A little bit scary there because they could have gone for parting shot or something. They could geyser here, but yeah, it's hailstorm. Okay, th this should actually just allow me to win the game at this point. But that last turn was obviously such a game defining turn. And it's still not over until it's over, but I think it's going to be very difficult for my opponent to come back from this angle. Okay. We're going to take some Hail Chip. Yep. And more importantly, your Dynamax is over now at this point. So. You should have Zacian in the back. In this position, I feel totally fine to just play rough into Kyogre, Dynamax, Geyser, Ensign. I don't think there's any way out of this for my opponent, unless you have Protect on... Uh, play rough miss is probably their best bet, but like Ensign here, if you don't have Protect, maybe you're defensive enough to take a Life Orb Physical Geyser? Yeah, they hard switch. That's actually the best play, that's the correct play. But it's like you just brought in Zacian, and Zacian takes this geyser, right? And now I set up the rain, I outspeed you as well. So, not great for them. I guess I didn't think about the possibility of... I'm just trying to think... What Kyogre is going to do in this position. Yeah, the answer might just be faint to play rough. <laughs> yeah, poor Kyogre. Goodbye. And we're just going to geyser. Okay. I, I think the main thing today is that my opponent's basically gone all in with their Dynamaxes. And in, in this game, truthfully, it was a really good decision. And if they, if I don't get full pair there, they actually, you know, call the ally switch. 
It's great for them. But now they bring in Ensign. Uh, okay, I guess the game isn't technically 100% over, but we've got Kyogre in the back, so I don't really see how my opponent wins this, honestly. They do get an Intimidate onto the King Drill, so... So it's my, slows down my damage output by a little bit, but it's still okay. Yeah, I mean, we can just switch Sashin out in this angle, go out into... Well, actually, Kyogre is paralyzed. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Be a little bit careful here. Yeah, this game is actually technically not 100% over yet. I just don't know if minus one Geyser KOs Incident right now. I would think so, though. So I'm down to just Behemoth Blade here and Geyser into Incident. Oh, okay, they just actually end up forfeiting. I, I targeted Incident there, by the way, because if we KO Incineroar, that's their Shedinja answer out of the way, and then the Zacian never wins 1v1 against Shedinja. Shedinja is just that Pokemon with that kind of late game potential, right? Which is always really, really valuable. So I think Shedinja proved had a lot of value to in today's episode. This game, though, I, I really do think, you know, my opponent made the right play and unfortunately got punished for it by me getting fully paralyzed. But that's the thing that makes it so dicey, like trying to play around Ally Switch. But um, the majority of the time, they actually should win this game. So even though we got para, and I was like, oh, that's pretty unfortunate because they read into Ally Switch, they ended up getting punished for it. So yeah. Shininja is just one of those Pokemon, like I mentioned, that can be kind of a nightmare to play against. But this team just has a lot of fun tricks up its sleeve. You know, in the previous episode, we demonstrated how good physical Kingdra can be and ignoring screens. And this one, it was, a, it was a little bit tough because I had to deal with all the Thunder Waves against the Grim there. Um, i trying to think where I could have played better in this game specifically. But yeah, so that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you so much as always for watching. If you enjoyed, please share support by leaving a like in the video. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, it feels really good to be back from regionals and I'm excited to, yeah, do some analysis of that tournament and then break down some things with all of you. So yeah, I'll catch you all next time. All right, peace.